Welcome back to Living in Eight. He's the general manager over at KJ International Tours and also the host of Discover Digest Asia that can be seen right here on KH12. Joining me now is a guy with a super soothing voice. His name is David Lim. David, thanks for joining us. Appreciate it. Hey, how's it going, John? Good morning. And you thank know, you for having me. I'm a big wait. fan of the show. I'm a big fan of your voice. We'll get into that in just a minute. I, I do want to ask you, though, uh, you got Asia, you got tours. Can you tell me about uh, your traveling experiences right now? Yeah, so right now, I guess it kind of goes for everyone. But um, yeah, I haven't really traveled to Asia. Uh, it's been over two years since, but uh, traveled with my family to L.A. recently, a few weeks ago. Um, but right now, yeah, it's, uh, it's a really hard time to travel to Korea at the moment. I was about to ask you, are we actually able to travel if we wanted to travel to Korea right now? And if allowed, what should we expect? Yeah, so you are actually able to travel between Korea and Hawaii. Uh, there is a direct flight on Hawaiian Airlines that goes between Honolulu to Incheon. Uh, but, you know, as soon as you took for entry to South Korea, everyone must quarantine. Uh, so it's, and, and there are exemptions to to not quarantine at all, but uh, that involves the Korean government's approval, so mm -hmm. it's not even, yeah. Is there any other updates that maybe you should, uh, that you could give us that our viewers might want to know about traveling, what's happening in Korea right now? Yeah, sure, actually, uh, there's, a, <laughs> there's a big holiday that's coming up in Korea. It's actually within two weeks, uh, September 21st to be exact, uh, but this is the, uh, Koreans call it Chuseok. Uh, it's also uh, the little translation meaning Autumn Eve. And this is to celebrate good harvest in Korea. This dates back a long time ago. So basically, uh, you have a family gathering. They're hitting the road, and they all like just go and visit their family, and they have a big dinner, just like the States. So we call it Korean Thanksgiving. <laughs> and this is happening on September 21st. And uh, for now, um, I guess... I have some memory. I did grow up in Korea, so I have some memory as to how we celebrated Chuseok with my family. But, mm -hmm. you know, in terms of like, um, you know, just the details, I kind of forgot a lot about that. But luckily, we have some footage here. It was part of our segment on Discovery Digest. And uh, we were able to visit uh, a family in, in Korea to show a very authentic, traditional um, Chuseok experience. And for that, uh, it kind of goes back to where, you the know... The food, uh, by the way, I, I just want to say the food looks amazing. Oh, my goodness. You're yeah, so, <laughs> so there, there's a lot of food because this is the harvest. So, like, the farmers, they gather all their food. This is like Korea when farmers gather and they, they bring all the food together. They call their family over and they're like, hey, let's party, you know, let's get together. But there's a lot more to it than just dinner or, or feasting. Uh, there's a there's some um, shamanism influence. So in Korea, they uh, basically, first of all, uh, you know, they, there's an incense burning um, where you have the family gathering first. But the shamanism in, uh, the influence is to also uh, make an offering for the ancestors. So this is an opportunity where all the family gathers. Mm -hmm. They they create an altar where they put the food out. And they make they say their prayers and and they do their bows and from from there they're able to um, I guess you know ask for better blessings and those kind of things so that you have a better uh, future with your family and uh, it is it's a huge tradition by the way this is how Koreans do celebrate um, and I, 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 I'm a firm believer I. I... I really do think it's important to, to learn the traditions of the place that you're at, learn the customs, especially when you're, when you're going there. Maybe do a little bit of homework before you go there. That's pretty important, isn't it? <laughs> it really is, because, I mean, you know, it's like the formality is, is very important. I think um, not only that, but I, I, I forgot a lot about the whole details until <laughs> I, I was able to visit the Lee family, which were very great people. They live in Busan. Out to them, they're great people here. Uh, but they were able to allow us to experience that, and um, and also, you know, I don't know if you noticed, but there's a rice wine. Uh, they they feast, so there's some liquor involved, and mm -hmm. nothing gets the spirits up more than as having a some. As a matter of fact, I did see that. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, hey, I'm I, not sure. I, I also want to ask you. Real quick, yeah. uh, I, I know that the Discover Digest is on the K Twenty Two family of channels. You're on, you air on K High, a yes. travel show. Do you, do, uh, you know, it's, it's important, obviously, to travel. Do you plan on continuing to the, the show? 
Yeah, you know, I mean, I mean, we love what we do, and we definitely want to show more of Asia as as it comes. But you know, like hopefully, and and we do want to travel as soon as it opens up, so that we can bring more footage to you, and uh, to show what it's like uh, to visit Asia. Thank you so much for being with us here uh, live on Living in Wait. Um, we'll have information on how you can contact David and maybe do a tour for yourself uh, on our website, ktwin2.com. Dave, thanks. I appreciate it. Also, uh, Discover Digest Asia Sundays at 7.30 on our sister station, KHI Channel 1005.